All right, guys, this is uh, an update on the Roman Colosseum. Um, I had problems reproducing it. I went back, I checked uh, pictures, uh, got as many pictures as I, as I could get off the internet, and the only thing that I could derive from the pictures and the materials that I've gotten is that I believe... I have gotten uh, that the that the that my customer that sent them to me when he got them he got a mixture of two sets because I was checking like the holes in the lineup posts and I was checking them against the the uh, master pictures on the internet and, and not even the posts and holes were lining up uh, which is a complete nightmare so what I did was I took all the pieces that were there and um, I set them up with decking to take care of uh, where the uh, the pieces actually bulged out on the bottom and on the top to flatten them out um, for instance the way that it's supposed to be uh, like this piece right here on the bottom the thinner piece this is actually supposed to be over the top of that piece on the original picture so you're actually going from a thinner wall to a thicker wall and it just nothing was was lining up and making sense so I've, I've got a feeling that he had either an incomplete set or a, a partial of two sets so I just did the uh, the best thing that I could possibly think of doing and that was taking the existing pieces that were already there, uh, make decking to take care of any of the uh, the bulgings that were happening along the bottom, and then basically refit pe pieces together as close as I could to make it into a functional uh, unified whole. So whenever you're uh, you're dealing with with uh, toys and stuff like that. Um, Toys, I don't think, are, are held to uh, a high level of, of quality, should we say. Now, don't get me wrong. You, you can't argue with the, the cool imprints that are going on there. But um, the way this was, was designed to fit together was atrocious. But I think when I'm done with it, um, I should be able to, uh, to pull a rabbit out of the hat and make it look uh, at least close to how it should look normally but um, this is a quick uh, a quick update uh, about terrain and uh, this is going out to my customer uh, I've already talked to him about it um, there's two more decks that I need to make I need to uh, get a deck here and a deck here to cover up those holes and it'll also uh, you know you can see like how it like warps and bulges uh, like there's that bulge there it, it's just very very inconsistent um, the angle lines don't always make sense uh, where the angle lines did not make sense I tried to uh, cover them as much as possible um, you know when you're when you're a train builder uh, one of your jobs and it's it's not a fun job but it's part of your job is to deal with the imperfections and somehow make sense out of it and make it work uh, work for the, the the build and for the customer so this is kind of a, a quick you you actually see what what's really going on kind of behind the scenes and and you can get kind of an, a, a feel for uh, what it's like to do this uh, for other people so but this is just a quick heads up uh, with what's going on I gotta get some more material to uh, like I said cut those last top two decks and then I gotta line it out to make it work with the rest of the set so, um, but I think it's going to look pretty striking when it's all said and done. Uh, my goal is when it's done, I, I'm going to get it as close to uh, looking like uh, it should have looked uh, if, if I were in charge of building the set. So, here you go guys. Here's your uh, inspiration for the day and problem solving and uh, just some background on uh, things that you run across when you're a terrain maker. So. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we went to the Ren Fair. I'm going to have a small 
series about the Ren Fair, so if you're not into Ren Fairs, um, you know, don't don't watch it. You know, I don't want to make anybody unhappy. Um, but if you're into that kind of thing, um, it was a beautiful day at the fair, and there's a little surprise in there about my D and D past if you're uh, willing to endure them, uh, the videos. So love you guys. This is what's going on. Take care.